it's not perfect timing. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for hanging out with me on the Zindi Sunday. We're playing Pride Theme Games all day today, and the next one up on the list that you guys have chosen is Mount Your Friends 3D. A hard man is good to find, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this game is played with a controller. And if you want to play along with me and you have the game, someone told me that it's it has co-op, online co-op, or online versus or whatever. So let's give it a look. My friends 3D, let's take a look at the store page. And it says, join in the great simulated sports-like experience of, of friend mounting. Assemble a team and climb your way to the top. Mount Your Friends 3D brings mounting to the third dimension with the same classic in you I know that made you slightly uncomfortable back in the day. Came out February 2018, so about a year, year and change ago. Stegosaurus Software Inc. It is set, uh, $6.99 on Steam right now. So if you want to play and download it, it doesn't take very long. Um, and you have extra cash, you know, just to play for a little bit. Please do. And I got, oh, I got to put, whoops, 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 hold on. Mount your friends. There we go. 3D. Perfect. Perfect. Okie dokie. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, options, graphics, 16 by 9, who plays settings like this? Ugh, and the, I can't have 60 hertz with 1440, it's so weird. There. Better. Okay, that's better. All right back. Play game. Play online. Oh, private online. Would you like to share custom face with players in private multiplayer games? Download face images files. Use yes. Go ahead. Be my guest. Uh, I will host. Wait. Password host. There we go. And we'll just say. We'll just make. Make the password Zeke Pride. Z E K E P R I D E. Great match. Uh, I don't know how to do this, but. Oh, okay. Cancel that. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, completely match with standard rules to unlock. Okay. Uh, Zeke ever experimented with a penis in your young days? Maybe man's? Uh, no, not man's, but yes, I did. In my, in my, like in elementary school and stuff. Like, in my pre-sexual youth. Oh, I'm in a lobby and waiting for players? Okay, so I just have to wait for players or not? Is anybody else in? Or I have to wait for people to get in, right? Or do I, do I start it? Oh, it just looks like it's me playing with myself. So I don't know if I had to start the thing or I wait for players to jump in. Maybe. Oh, these oh they're just stickers. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. And this guy, this guy's really get into it, isn't he? Okay, maybe maybe I'll just I guess I'll just play with myself then. Um maybe I'll just try a solo practice round real quick. All right, here we go. Reach the top. Oh, of that. 
Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Did I, I got it, right? Okay. Stop it. There we go. Okay. So it's a lot like the... The other game. Okay. There we go. Just like that. Okay. So like that, okay. Now. Come on. What the f Put your fucking hand on the ground, you fucking idiot! I swear to God, like sometimes, like it's like the wind is blowing it or something. <gasps> there we go. This one right there. Get it? There you go. There, like that. I think you just go as high as you can when you're doing like just solo like Nope, I fucked it up Try to go too fast try to go too fast. That's what happens And also like in the other game didn't you have like four controls? Or was it just the two? Like in the original version? Yeah, I thought, that's what I thought too. Like, all four limbs had a button. Yeah, it was like, because it was like, triggers were buttons too. It was like AX and the right and left trigger button. Or, yeah. Mm. 
mean, look at that shit. Who's the king? Who's the king, baby? Who's the king, baby? Yeah, this has online multiplayer, but I'm too good and I can't fail. Whoop, nope. I want to do the multiplayer. Um, let's just well, let's just see what happens if I just if I just let it go for the last. I was really good at this game of Burning Man too. Yeah, absolutely. That's how I perfected my uh, my style. You gotta take a slow Zeke, savor every muscle tearing moment of that climb. The fact that I'm in my living room watching it on the big screen and commenting on it like it was an Olympic sport makes this even better. I'd love to shout cast this. I think that'd be fucking hilarious. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I have a reserve? Jesus Christ, man. They really take it easy on you, don't they? If this was Olympic sport, I would actually watch Olympics. I would, well, I watch Olympics anyway sometimes, but I would definitely make sure to catch this event. 40 seconds is way too long. We want like better rounds. Okay. 37.10 feet. Look at that. Oh, that's a beautiful, look at that beautiful tower of men, muscly men. I love it. Let's go. Continue, please. There we go. Return to the menu. Okay, so. Hall of Men. Okay. Play game. Play online. Searching for matches. Far even matches. Like no one is no one is playing this game right now. Worldwide. So none of you want to play this with me, huh? Damn it, I was hoping that I'd get somebody. Like I can give you Like, give away some codes. You know what? Like, hold on, can I... Can I look for matches and, and still, and go back? No, I can't, okay. How big is the download? Oh, it's, it's, it only took me a minute or two. Team one. Oh, there we go. Well, let's just fucking do this then. Okay, eyes. Give him, give him that. <laughs> Whoa! There we go. Perfect. Uh, mouth. No. There you go. I love it. Okay. Face. Nope. Wait, face. Oh, I can add. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, back. Skin. There 
There you go. Trails? Oh, okay. Save. Save and pose. There you go, perfect. Um, sure. All right. Team one. Okay, back, back up. Back up. There you go. Return to menu, there we go. Yes, that's my default team. Okay. It said you could change bold size, but I don't know if you can. Face, skin. Wait. Trails. No, oh, whoops. Mouth. Face. Skin. Where was it? Where was it at? That's not it. That doesn't have it. Face doesn't have it. S skin? No. Oh, no, the bulge of the eyes. Yeah, yeah. See, that's that. That's this. Yeah, that's something different. Yeah. All right, play game. Password host. Well, let's just make the password Zeke then. Let's see what happens. Just Zeke, Z-E-K-E. -E. There you go, create match. And anybody can come in if they want to. Oh, there's Jay Justice, yay! Let's go, Jay! Let's go, Jay! Let's go, Jay! These are gonna be long games, too. Alright, now now Jay's turn. Murray Henry up to battle. Let's see how he does. Can't quite get off of the starting blocks there. He's having a little bit of trouble. There he goes. Now he's now he's figuring it out. He's gonna get onto that goat real quick. Got a good mount on that on that bicep right there. Is he gonna go for the tip touch? He might just Stay with that. Yep, he's gonna take it easy for the first round. Not gonna stretch himself out too too much for the first round. All right, my turn. Yep. There you go. Right in the right in the. the he's got the ear grab down. Pretty good. Ear grab down is pretty good. It got stuck on mouse control mouse controls for you. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, a race mo os up now for J Justice. Race mo os has spent a long time in the mounting circuit. Finally had the chance to head to the uh, Mount Your Friends Olympics. He's got that spinny move. He loves to do a lot of aerial tactics there. <gasps> Good mount, good pose, very good strongman T-shape going for him. Nice work. All right, next up, Ivan Zamaga. All right, I'm gonna try and get that tip touch. 
Tip touch. There we go. That's close. Close tip touch. There it is. Boom. Like a goddamn Greek god, motherfucker. Logan Boyens just launches off of the starting blocks. He's ready to go. His nipples are pink and hard. Feeling really, really fine. Looking muscly. Dong just flopping in the breeze. As it should be. Oh, is he going to let go? No, he makes it. Trying to get that last hand up. Got to let go of one of them to get up to the top there. Oh, little, little lag, little lag spike there. Jumping around a little bit. Trying to get up the lag spiking again. Something is happening. Rubber banding. Uh-oh, what's happening to Logan? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, has he stalled out? He has stalled out there right at the top. He is seriously like a toe away from breaking the plane. Yeah, Jay's not even talking in chat anymore, so he probably got fucking booted off of his, like, internet completely. That sucks ass. Uh, Falron, thank you for the 11 months of support. I appreciate it. Yep, we'll leave that match. All right. Can more than one person join the game? Jay is talking in chat. He says, you got booted. I don't... Oh, there he is. Uh, no, I won. You cheated. Oh, it said you DC. Really? How the fuck is that? How the fuck did that happen? All right. Same thing. Same password. Z-E-K-E. Great match. Oh, 60 second, no reserve time. That's what we want. Yeah, that's definitely what we want. Okay, let's try it again. Here we go. Let's try it one more time. We're starting the match. The dong was too strong. Is it just 1v1? I don't I think you can have more than that, but no one else has the fucking game and wants to play. All right, here we go. Up to four people, yeah. Oh, so you have the you have the the game, Lumi. Okay. Harold Paviol Paviolitis. Okay. Oh, he's he's got his arm wrapped around that goat. It's tough to get up. He's gonna try and swing it up there. Got it. Nice work. Nope, nope. There we go. There it is. There's that shit. Try and get that shit. That's good. That's looking good. Nathaniel Wurtenberger up next. Coming all the way from Austria. Nathaniel is looking very, very tight. Very buff today. He's a, he's a pro climber. Been, uh, been on the pro circuit for about two years now. Not used to this format of the standard mount your friends uh, type. 
but he's looking in professional shape right now. Not given any leeway. Perfect tip touch. Nice scissor leg pose there at the end. Just a gorgeous specimen. Oops. I had it. There we go. There we go. Up, up, see Daisy. Perfect. Gave him the old brown eye with the blue shorts. Blowing in the wind is Nane, uh, excuse me, Zane Nidzweki. Zane Nidzweki. First time making the making the Olympic team here. He went to a spray tan earlier and he said, make me uh coffee, half coffee, half milk. I want that kind of skin tone. And they did a really good job if you ask me. All right. Jeffrey Hasselhun putting his effort in. Climbing like a pro. Got the windmill style down. That's a classic style. That's a classic windmill maneuver there. Get. There you go. Got to get the top. Okay. Oh, not pretty, but it'll do for now. Mounting is going pretty well. Pretty well. Um, if, you, you, if you could have gay sex for $1 million... Could you even get hard? What kind of a question is that? I bet for a million dollars, I could get hard with like an opossum. Like million dollars is what would make me hard. Did it fucking DC again? Tell me it didn't fucking DC again. Why? What is going on here? Dong too strong. Because the connection is dick. How though? I'm still, I'm broadcasting on the internet. Like, my stream hasn't gone down. Why the fuck is the game having problems? I mean, I'm streaming at 5,000 kilobits right now with no drop frames or anything. Do you think it's the game's fault? Yeah, let yeah, you try to create the game. I'll exit and I'll just find your game. Okay, just, yeah, do the password one and, and we'll try and find you. And also, anybody else who wants to join in, put the password in the chat there, Jay. Well, obviously you have to. Password is Zeke, okay. So anybody else? There we go. Wait, let's wait for a second, see if anybody else gets in. There we go, Lumi's in. That's nice. Cool, that's good. I don't think anybody else was trying to get in, so let's just rock. We're gonna have a three-way. Here we go, swell, let's go. 
Jay's turn. Got to get that big Mitch energy. Ooh, nice cartwheel. Does the wind cartwheel with a big stretch at the end. Nice work. Those pink nipples look really good against that brown skin. There we go. Yep. Good stretch on it. Beautiful. Looking hot. With that, what color would that be? What color skin would you say I had? It's orange-ish. <laughs> I love the eyes on him. Oh, Lumi's eyes are looking. Oh, man, there's some drugs in that system. You can see it. Looking like the South Park version of, uh, oh, God. Oh, fell off. Oh, but there's plenty of time left. Plenty of time. Plenty of time to get back up on the horse cock, so to speak. Trying to get that grip. Having real trouble getting that last grip in there. Found a found a grip in the crack. Stretching out. Calling it a day. Nice straddle on the arm there. Beautiful work. Beautiful work. Marshmallow salad color. Nice. Oh, blew away past the goat. Trying to get fancy with it. Maxwell Priolo. Maxwell Priolo coming all the way from Cleveland, Ohio, where he, um, his day job, he's a pizza delivery boy for a gay pizza company called Hot Sausage in Your Mouth. Very successful in the Cleveland area. All right, John McWalters making the, making the way up. Grabbing the ghostly physique of the man in third. Let's see. Is it going to be... Is it going to... Can he grip the dong? Can he go for the... He's going to try and... There it is! He's got the dong! Right on the tip! The judges are loving it! Scoring more points! The difficulty on that is so high! If you don't play the sport, you don't know how high the difficulty on the dong grip is. But not only does the dong have to be hard, but the grip has to be strong. Not since we saw Matt the Gripper Townsend play Mount Your Friends have we seen a grip like his before. Oh no! Carol Coles are dropping off the goat! But getting back on will not be stopped. The determination in Carol Colzer's eyes is unstoppable. Taking that cartwheel, the classic cartwheel formation, grabbing the leg, grabbing the delt. Gonna not tip mm -hmm. touch. No tip touch. Got the foot. <laughs> the foot grab there at the end for a little bit of swag strats. Ugh. All right, Philip. Uge Tafa, all the way from Madagascar, trying to make it. Oh, making it look easy. Showing off a little bit. Ooh, that's going to cost him a little bit on the height, though. Could have had a little bit more height if he wasn't hot dogging it. I, 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 I'd have to say that. All right, Ulysses Teeter coming up, grabbing Dong all the way. He originally got into this sport because he just liked grabbing dongs. He was uh, arrested several times for in, uh, sexual assault on uh, muscular men. Sometimes Ulysses forgets that you have to let go of the button in order for it to stick on something, <laughs> apparently. All right, he's gonna try and swing the other way. He's got the swing around. What is he doing? Oh, trying to get that stink face going with the armpit to the face of his opponent. It's pretty close, but not quite all the way there. Gerald Zdroga. Gerald Zdroga, unknown rookie to the sport, said he got his inspiration from, oh, his two dads. But listen, he's going to need to call upon some higher power to try and get up that daunting 
mountain of men that we call Mount Your Friends going all the way trying to get past his teammate there. His teammate is stone statue still not helping him at all. In fact, blocking the way a little bit. Can he get up there? 19 seconds remain on the clock. Looking good. Nice pose. Not that much height, but still manages to stay in the game. Dewey Zooey. Dewey Zooey. Always hated that name growing up. All the kids made fun of it because it rhymed. And also, it's kind of a juxtaposition of an American name and a what I want to say is a Chinese name. However, uh, he is neither of those. Actually comes from the land of Chile. All the way from Chile here, South America, to try his hand at the mounting of your friends. Oh, is it just going to be good there? Is that all that we're going to see from Dewey Zooey? Did I disconnect again? It seems like I probably did. What in the fuck? Why am I disconnecting? And they aren't. Like, all the disconnects have been on my fucking end. Why is that? I mean, I have, I mean, I'm fine. See, totally fine. Like, I'm connected to the internet, there's no, like, cautions or nothing. Firewall setup? Wouldn't that wouldn't that like not let you connect at all? Yeah, Drawful kept disconnecting as well. Yeah. Yeah, I've been disconnecting from from game servers like a lot. Maybe I do have firewall shit on. Hold on, let me just look. I don't. I just don't want to show you guys anything that I'm not supposed to show you. Like as far as like my personal information and shit, just in case I accidentally do that. Let me look at my. I don't think my firewall is even on. Oh, it is. What? Off. Jesus Christ. There we go. Well, I look, I look at, well, here's the thing. I look at my firewall page and I don't, I don't read. So I'll show you like what I'm looking at here. I look at my firewall page and I'm like, okay, turn that off, turn that off. I got a shit, but it's not my firewall that's being turned off. I had to turn, yeah. Off, off. Maybe it was a Windows update that turned it back on. Maybe. Okay. Let me just see. Your firewalls are turned off. Good. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Maybe that's what it was the whole time. Maybe that's what it was. I did I did do a Windows update not too long ago, so maybe that's what it was. I just wish I could see what was going on. I wish I could see you guys battling each other. All right.
No magic server. Okay, cool. Yeah, oh, and you are definitely clicking through your motor or router. Yes. I mean, yeah, I'm going through a router for sure. Yeah, yeah. It's going through my, like, yeah. I think it's even going through the Raspberry Pi as well. All right, if you guys want to play... Let me host, because it doesn't matter, because we just found out it doesn't matter if I host or not, so let me host it. Because I'll just disconnect either way. So I'll create the match. Zeke is the password. Is there a VOD on your one shot? Yes, it's on uh, It's on JP's uh, YouTube channel. Password is Zeke. Z-E-K-E, -E. Polly Murderous is in. J Justice and Lumi, there we go, we got it. Hopefully this fucking works. Okay. We've achieved quad dick. Have we though? Oh, I just don't see you guys, I guess. Hmm? There we go. All right, Polly Murderous. Let's go. What's a Raspberry Pi for? It was for um, uh, monitoring my when my when my stream was going down periodically. I just haven't un unhooked it yet. It was for when like my stream like months ago when my stream was dropping frames like tons and I had like technicians over to my house like four times. It was to prove to the ISP it was their fault. There you go, Sidley. Yeah. Wall wave six and six. Thank you for 21 months. Welcome back. <coughs> Upsy doozy. Yes. Nice stretch. Herman Labruza. Okay, I gotta start start shoutcasting in, and hopefully it'll everything will go fine. Isaiah's Unra. Uh, his name used to be Isaiah's Hernu, but he the when he came to the the United States from the Ukraine, they flopped his name backwards. So now his name is Isaiah's Unra, and he's just stuck with it ever since. All right, Ian Jub. They call him Jub Jub Big Tub because he plays in a jug band in his spare time uh, by his, his his uncle's fucking moonshine distillery. Logan Be Nice. It's, uh, it's an ironic nickname they've given him because Logan Be Mean, he is one of the most uh, feared trash talkers in the game of Mount Your Friends. He be mean, but they call him be nice. Maybe it's because they want him to be nice, but he he just has no nice bones in his body. Obviously, he has no nice bones in his body because that devastating package there is would not be a nice bone to receive from Logan. Next up, Mason Yuva. He actually had a name change as well. He shortened his name from Jason Uvula. It was a family name. It means something in his native tongue than it means in uh, the English language, but uh, so he shortened it up when he started competing on the American circuit. Mason Yuva, uh, he actually ate Play-Doh as a child. Lots of red Play-Doh, hence the, the uh, pink skin tone that he has adopted. That is all uh, Play-Doh skin coloring from being seep seeping into his bloodstream and uh, coloring his skin uh, at the same time. Oh, oh, he's going for, oh, I thought it was a nipple grab. Nope, he's just going for an ab grab. Nipple grab, difficulty scale, 8.6 to do the nipple grab. 
Doesn't get a big stretch on there, but big enough to keep the round going. Furman Lint Lintner, vacuum salesman, actually. Um, if you've got Lint, call Lintner. That was their motto, their very serendipitous name, the fact that they uh, sold vacuum cleaners. His family, family business. In his spare time, he does this, and he makes pottery out of old dinosaur bones. Very, very fun, uh... If you ask me, it seems like a very fun hobby to have. And am I... Oh, I thought I got disconnected again. Okay. All right, here we go. Aiden Calverly making his debut on the Olympic circuit. He has wowed judges in the past. Let's see what he does today. He's very famous for doing the butt and nipple grab same time. Will he try for it today? Will he get a hand on the butt and a hand on the nipple? He's got some time to get it done. Let's see if he can actually make it happen here. He's trying to get, trying to get that hand on the nipple. He's got the nipple. He's got the nipple. He's going for the cheek, going for the butt cheek now. He's got to swing around to the other side. See if he can get that butt cheek. Can he get it? No, he cannot. The judges have called it. He still stays in the thing, but he cannot get. The nipple cheek combo grab. He'll have to settle for just one nipple. I believe that's three points. If he would have got the nipple butt grab, that is a full 20 points to his team. All right, Hugh Brawley. Sometimes known to his fellow competitors as, as huge ballsy. Because if you look, that is not his dong, ladies and gentlemen. That is his testicle satchel that is waving in the wind. He has, born with a medical condition where he has three extra balls. Next up, Reuben Dillingham. They call him the canned ham because, uh, Back in the day when he first started this, he was one of the fattest competitors on the market or on the circuit. He looked like a canned ham. Also, he sweated like one as well. Apparently, he sweated like a canned ham. But he's doing better now. He's got himself in shape. He's now on the Olympic circuit doing the Mount Your Friends finals. Ooh! Oh! Risky maneuver, Ruben! Pulling it off, staying in the game. Looking good. Oh, canned ham looking great. Next up, Landon Norseworthy on Lumi's team. <gasps> Landon was actually a stand-in for David Hasselhoff on the on the hit show Night Rider back in the day. He doesn't look as old as he is, but the man is 71 years old, looking like a champion. He attributes all of his strength and muscular ability to uh, illicit drugs in the dark web. So, uh, shout out to the dark web there. Gonna try and get that extension. Both shoulder grabs looking good. Trying to get that tip touch, can't quite make it work. All right, Antoine Camrath. Looking like he's doing, oh man, that was an amazing foot grab to foot grab combo. Oh, that is a tough one to pull off, I tell you. All right, crawling over the pink. Get to the blue, Dr. Manhattan. Gonna get that tip touch, where is it? Where's that tip touch? Got it, now the stretch. Oh, he's hooked up. Oh no, he fucked up the dismount. Did not get the stretch. Oh, he's gonna be really disappointed about that. Norris and Glade, they call him the Glade plug-in because all he has to do, grab on, plugs in, and keeps climbing. Also because he plunged his hand uh, elbow deep into one of the competitors that he did not like. He was given a red card for that particular competition and, and given a, a, a very hefty fine. So he's been called the Glade plug-in ever since. Um, <laughs> kill Grape. Thank you for the 38 months in a row. Welcome back. And Baku Yuru with, with an entire year. Glad I checked out who was stream, screaming at Bike Man back when he played Friday the 13th. Hell yeah, dude. 
Hell yeah. Good to have you, man. Welcome back. Christopher Sluter. I don't know. Do you have this guy on your on your sheet? I don't have him anywhere. Oh, oh, we are getting word from security that this guy just walked in off the street and wanted to he demanded to compete in the competition because he quote likes to touch men's butts and dicks. End quote. And Jay Justice, being the, the generous team owner that he is, allowed him to compete. All right, Bill Clockers coming up. Bill Clockers. You think they make some sort of pun with his name being Clock, but they totally didn't. They just call him Asshole. Why do they call him Asshole? Well, he, he won't tell you. Unless you get him a couple of bourbon or a couple of bourbons in him, then he'll tell you all about it, tell you his life story. But uh, I have not had the pleasure yet. Oh, with the dick extension. Oh my God, Ulysses McSpeeden. You bet your ass he saw that dick extension and he's gonna take full advantage of it. He's gonna do the dong grab. If he can make it all the way to the top, the dong grab is in sight. That is worth a full 30 points if he can get the one hand dong grab left him wide open it's it's sort of similar to leaving a shot for your uh, opponent in pool and not hiding the cue ball behind another ball he just left his dong right out there in the open gonna try and get all the way up there ulysses looking for that dong he has to crawl he has to climb around he found it he found the dong is he going to make it over to the dong before time is up? He's not. He's not going for it. He's not going for it, ladies and gentlemen. Time was running short. He did not go for it. A lot of Ulysses is in this game. Oh, fuck. Polly Murderous? Did I do? Okay, good. Oh, fuck. Thank God. All right, Polly Murderous is uh, team is up now. Ulysses Thrun, uh, Thrun is actually Swedish for uh, it's a term that they use for being killed while fucking. Uh, it's only only four documented cases of all time. It has to be in a very specific way, though. You have to actually have a member large enough that when you enter your partner, you thrust into their guts and puncture. Uh, intestines or the, the something of that nature. <laughs> Young Zapia, his father, old Zapia, a previous champion in these games. Young Zapia gonna try and show his dad how he has learned from him over the years. Young Zapia's got that foot grab. Gonna try. He's extending, can't quite reach the next friend up. Where is he gonna go from here? He's gotta make it quick. Only 38 seconds to get to the top. Got another foot grab there. Young Zapia, also a uh, uh, <laughs> a rapper uh, as a hobby. His rap song, Too Cool For Your Ass. Uh, a hit in Britain. And of course, the two cool is with a number two, and for you is with a number four. Or for your ass is with a number four. All right, next up, Heath Eichinger. Heath Eichinger loves to do the aerial maneuvers. Very, very skilled. He's a little bit more lithe than his competitors. Not as much muscle mass to keep his agility up. See, look at that. With that... With that head grab, the grip on these guys' hands is outstanding. They could crush 30 baby skulls and not even bat an eye. Uh, <laughs> uh, Kilgrave, thank you for 38 months in a row. Appreciate it. <laughs> All 
All right, Heath Eichinger making the mount. Gonna try for the extension. Is he gonna do the? He does it. He tries for the dick grab. Does he get it, folks? Does he get the dick grab? I don't think he got it. No, he did not. He got a little blow peck. But that's okay. All right, Boyce. Boyce Itri. One of the most feared competitors in the sport. He's got the speed. He's got the agility. He's the, he's the total package in this sport. Very, very feared among his competitors. Also very feared because he actually carries a knife in his sweatband and he stabs people sometimes on his way up. He says it's by accident, but most people have thought maybe it's not by accident or else why would you have the knife in the first place? Oh, it's getting down to the wire here. Getting down to the wire. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. He's got the big dick. He's got the big dick. Oh, he does it. Oh, no. The judges are saying he's an inch away. Does not count. Does not count as the dick grab. Inch away. Could not make it. Oh, Lino Spiegel goes for the coast to coast. And nails it. Nails the coast to coast. Coast to coast is when you don't touch the ground from the mounting position or from the starting position to the to the goat. He nailed the coast to coast. That is a difficult maneuver, and the judges are sure to give him some points for that one. Let's see how he does it. Lino says his favorite food is uh, chicken Alfredo or chicken chicken fettuccine Alfredo, which. Uh, Kind of boring, if you ask me. Kind of boring. All right, he's... Oh, he's going to remount! Oh, the tip touch! Lino Spiegel making it look easy! Oh, my God! What a beautiful mount from Lino Spiegel. Colby Heideman got his work cut out for him. Gonna, gonna have to go fast. This is where we separate the men from the big men. Right here on the Mount Your Friends Olympic Finals. Colby Heideman taking his time, not panicking, very deliberately climbing each man, grabbing each peck, nipple, and dong. Very deliberately, grips hard, make sure he's got the grip before he continues on. Gotta say, he's methodical, I like his style, but is he gonna be quick enough to get to the top? He's looking good. 20 seconds on the clock, he's looking like he might make it. If he doesn't, he's gotta get that arm, he's gotta get that hand attached. Gotta get that. There he goes. He's got it. He's going for extra. Oh my God. That is a thing of beauty. Colby Heideman showing you how much skill he has in those hands. Oh, Lumi, or excuse me, Elroy Ziyech trying to go for the coast to coast, not quite making it. See if it's going to cost him a little bit of time. He saw, his, he saw his opponent trying the coast to coast and could not let that go unchallenged, but he couldn't make it. He's got to gotta get some more practice in on it. Let's take a look from the sky cam here. The sky cam is, look at that. It's a thing of beauty. Have you ever seen something as beautiful as that all balanced on the head of a goat? Like homoerotic angels trying to make their way to God. These guys are in top physical condition. They're unstoppable. All right. Huey Wilder trying to go to the coast to coast. Don't know, if, don't think he quite made it, but he's got to go wild now. If he's going to make it up to the top here, he's got to get. Oh, there he goes. Okay, he's looking for that grip. Couldn't find a grip. Trying to get that head grip. Get it. There he goes. He got it. There he goes. Huey Wilder. Uh, descendant of Oscar Wilde. Um, also known for uh, being a famous uh, historical mounter of his friends. So he's keeping with his family's tradition. 14 seconds left on the clock. Huey Wilder. Oh, he's making it. He's making a final push. He's going to do it. Mm -hmm. Huey Wilder gets to the top with the armpit hair grab at the very end there.
All right, Sergio Tesno. Sergio Tesno, one of uh, uh, voted People Magazine's 50 Sexiest People in uh, 2018, showing you this is why. This is what it takes. Oh, he let go and he got it. Took a big risk and it paid off. Let go with both hands and still climbing to the top. He is unstoppable. This Sergio is phenomenal. <laughs> it's his third year in the circuit. And let me tell you, he's got at least seven more years left in him. He's going, what's he doing? Oh, he's doing it. He's got the dong grab. Ladies and gentlemen, hand on dong. Perfection. Not only did he get the hand dong grab, but he got the ass, the unintentional opponent ass grab. That is when you place your hand, your, excuse me, when you place your ass on the opponent's hand and they didn't ask for it. That's gonna, that's a almost impossible combo to pull off. Barry Osas, uh, Osasua, uh, Osazua, excuse me, coming to us from his home planet, actually the first alien to make it into the Mount Your Friends Olympic Finals. He's having a little trouble gripping, it looks like maybe. Okay, he's, he's back on it. Back on it. He's going to have to make up some time, though. He's going to have to windmill really quickly. 13 seconds left on the clock. Barry the alien, is he going to make it? He's grabbed the, the nose of one of his competitors. He's swinging as fast as he can. Two seconds, one second. <sighs> Barry Ozua, Jay Justice's team has been eliminated in fourth place. What a great competition. So tense all the way up to the end. Big congratulations, he has nothing to feel bad about. Jay Justice and his team fought like champions today. They left it all out on the field. You cannot ask for more of your team. Uh, Wilmer Uryan. Wilmer Uryan coming to us all the way from mid Nebraska. Um, I think it's, is this right? Is this the right name? From clown fuck Nebraska. Um, Yes, you heard it right. Uh, he, a uh, farmer, uh, grew up in a ranching uh, family. And uh, they raised, uh, well, as you might imagine, corn, being it's Nebraska and all. Oh my God, that's it! I wasn't even paying attention to the clock, Wilmer, Uriah, and Lumi. This, or uh, not disqualified, but uh, put out of the tournament in third place, maybe third place, it depends. All right, Alvin. Oh, shit. Oh, Alvin. It's hard to announce and play the game at the same time. And there's no way I'm making this up. Alvin. Said to hate the chipmunks ever since he had been born because of that. Oh, is he going to make up the time, though? Is he going to make up the time? Maybe. We'll see. Oh. Oh. Oh, the termination in his face mm -hmm. and in his groin. Oh, the tension is palpable. He can't, what in the fuck? Mm -hmm. Oh, the fucking angle on this. It's so fucking mm -hmm. stupid. It, uh. it, I want to throw this fucking controller. I want to throw the fucking controller. Because you can't change the camera. Polly, I mean, you can rotate, but you can't like make it go up and see like all the angles. The three, the three D makes it fucking hard. Polly murderous with the win, no question there. He was the clear favorite from the beginning to the end. Crazy how good Polly Murderous is. Now we take you to the medal ceremony. Polly Murderous is 
and National Anthem playing. I think, is that Slipknot? I think it's Slipknot. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can play it. Let's play one more. Oh, complete three rookie matches total to, and pass 30 feet in any mode to unlock that. Oh, well, that sucks. S what is Spiral? It's for the row underneath. Oh, no, no. What? Oh, what's spiral? Yeah. Spiral is you have to make a spiral back and forth. Let's try that. That sounds fun. Let's do that. All right, let's go. One more round and then we'll uh, switch games. Zeke, I'm a big fan of the Jackson 5. I love the Jackson 5, man. I grew up with the Jackson 5. My mom was a big fan, but this tune in her car like all the time. Um, thank you, uh, Dive and Scythe. Oh, shit, it's me. Okay. So I guess we'll figure it out once we get started here. What, what the spiral means. Okay. Okay. No, I just want I the I, I will I will start commenting again. I just wanna I just wanna like get a handle on the rules. It doesn't seem like it's any different. <gasps> oh, wait a minute, what? They change they transform into blocks? What? This is very weird. Okay. Cool. <laughs> what the fuck? All right. Wymo, thank you so much for 60 months in a row. Welcome back. Five years, baby. How do you like it? I hope you like it. Thank you for being here. Coin Healer with five months. Welcome back as well. All right. Sorry I was late, folks. I uh, got caught in traffic and my Uber driver didn't know where the fuck he was going. Went the wrong way down a one way. All right, back to the announcing. Edgar Crafts is up. Okay, Edgar Crafts. Oh, we're doing the spiral event. Spiral event. Very, very difficult to master the spiral event. You kind of see what's going on here. Less dong uh, to be had, but still the points are awarded if you can get the good grabs here. All right, mm -hmm. tip to tip, Edgar Crafts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what the fuck? You know what? I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm leaving it. You can, hey guys, I'm leaving that game. I don't want to do that one. I'd much rather do the regular one. There's not a, there, I mean, that, I mean, it's okay, fine, sure. But there's not enough dong. We want dong. All dong. All the time. So. Um, private online. There we go. Okay. Password host. Z-E-K-E. -E. Create match. All right. And I'm going to do. Let's do low gravity instead. Let's do a low gravity match just to see how that is. That should be fun. All right, there we go. Low grab match starting up for a free for all of four contestants here. Don't forget to vote on the next game, whatever you guys want to see next. There's a straw poll up, I think, ready to go. So vote, vote, vote. All right, Glenn Undercoffler. 
making his debut here at the Mount Your Friends arena uh, or fucking stadium or something. There we go. Starting it off strong with a uh, goat ear grab. Polly murders his team. Won here last year, but the rules have changed slightly. The gravity is quite a bit lower. Oh, trying to go for the coast to coast and totally fucks it up. That's got to be embarrassing. Trying for the swag strat and just failing miserably. He should probably just quit the sport and never, ever play again. If I were him, that's what exactly what I would do. Go for the eye gouge, trying to blind his opponents, which is absolutely legal here in Mount Your Friends. Uh, Pablo Champa, Pablo Champa, mariachi band uh, bassist uh, for his day job. He works at uh, a restaurant called Dos Machos. And uh, he's one of those annoying guys that goes around to your table while you're at the Mexican restaurant and uh, plays music for you and expects you to pay him for it. So fuck that guy and fuck his entire team. Zachary Zweifel. They call him the Zweifel Tower because he can get to the top and then he'll give you a French kiss and a French tickle. His baguette is long and strong and it's down to get the mounting on. He is not satisfied unless he gets that tip touch. Who? Oh! Ooh! Not the best performance from the Zweifel Tower. Blake Kiefer. Blake Kiefer. He's uh, actually had to change his name because he was a big fan of the movie Flatliners, so he changed his last name to be one, uh, the one of his heroes, Kiefer Sutherland. So... <laughs> Oh, he could not get his arm unlocked. Was that a cheat from the Zweifel Tower? Did the Zweifel Tower lock his arm in place so that he could not extend? Is that what happened? I don't know. We'll have to go to the tape and see. Ugh. All right, Frederick Lomboy, very boring. Didn't need to say much about him because there's not much to say. He's a real wet blanket anywhere he goes. Ulysses Landfair. A lot of Ulysses is in this very popular name in the Mount Your Friend circuit. Landfair. Uh, yes, and you read that right. Of the Landfair mustard uh, fortune, he decided to not follow up in his, in his family's footsteps and sell mustard. He actually decided mm -hmm. that what he wanted to do was compete at the Olympic level in Mounting of Your Friends. Young Yeekle. Young Yeekle. Actually, only four years old, which is very strange. I don't know how he's allowed to compete. Oh, no! Did we get disconnected again? Oh, God! Did it happen again? Oh, fuck! Did we get to DC'd? Tell me we didn't get DC'd. We did. Didn't we? No, we didn't! Oh! Oh, shit! Whoa! Young Yeekle doing the robot all the way up the mountain! God damn it. Titus Alamon climbing his 30th climbing competition this week. He just can't get enough. He's gonna try. Gonna try for that dong grab. You see him looking at that dong. You see him looking at why the fuck? Well, he stood and ran, ran the fuck out of time. So he couldn't get the tongue grab off. He was very disappointed about that. But he did manage the dry hump of the calf of the person that came before. Quincy Siglin coming up. Oh, trying the coast to coast and fucking it up again. Pauly Murder is off of the their team is totally off their games this time around. Quincy, they call him Hubert. And I don't know why that's his nickname, but it's been his nickname for a long time, and I, I, I don't get it. Do you get it? Anyone get that? Why is he called Cubert? Yeah, I didn't think so. Oh, did he get the dong? He got full on dong. That is, there is no question. 
That is all dong, all day. So he missed the coast to coast, but he made the dong grab. So making up some of the points there. Let's check out this mountain of man meat. It is looking sweaty. It's looking multicolored and it's looking hot. Ernest Shatley. Oh my God. A perfect tip to tip touch with a soul. Oh, he pulled the tip to tip with a JCVD to boot. That is going to make their team some motherfucking points. No question about it. Look at that JCVD right there at the top. Full on split. You can see right inside. You can see what he had for dinner yesterday because it's about ready to come out. Lumi, dick grab. Does he have full dick? It's dick and dick alone. That's right. Oh, he's, he's going to Superman that hoe. He does it. Oh my God. This is a match for the ages. All right. Harlan Keist got his work cut out for him. He was in prison and he was famous for putting things in his butt because he was forced to buy some of the other more powerful inmates because they were they thought that Keist should be keistering all of their drugs and paraphernalia. He's going for the dong. Does he have dong? No, he doesn't have dong. He's got dong. Is that dog? Does he have it? Folks, does he have it? Oh, he's only going to get half points because he's grabbed There's pelvis bone in there as well as dong. Only half points. It's not all dong. Zachary Funk. He is actually one of three Funk brothers. And not to be confused with Funk Soul brothers. Because this fat boy is not slim. He is all muscle all the time making it oh making it look so simple so easy trying to get the dong will he get the dong will he get in time oh oh the gooch oh the gooch style points coming out of his ass so hard with the gooch grab oh taint another beautiful more beautiful sight than you're gonna you're gonna see today he is a perennium favorite Every time he comes out. All right, Kip Ahonen. See what he does. He's got that. He's got the neck. He's Oh, he's got an arm trapped. He's got an arm trapped. It looks like, oh my God, they're squeezing him out. They're trying to squeeze him out now. Oh, the, oh, the judges. Oh, if the judges see that. Oh, he's, can he, can he do it? Can he get that arm out? He's trying. He can't. Oh my God. Jay, just as his team is just, where are the flags? Where are the referees? They are not even seeing this. What in the fuck? This is cheating at its worst. They should be ashamed of themselves. Oh, tries, Raphael tries for the Coast Coast, does not make it. Raphael Zomarodi actually uh, was the original lead singer for the band Imagine Dragons, but he got kicked out because he was, quote, not douchey enough to be in the band. He uh, was brokenhearted for a while, but he came to the Mount Your Friends circuit, and now he is happier than he ever could be. Oh, he's got the dong grab! Dong grab, full dong! Making it look like it's child's play, but not really because don't let your child grab dongs. That, uh, you know what? Let's just forget I said anything and move on. Paul Ruozo. Paul Rozo Ruozo. They call him Rosy Cheeks Ruozo because he loves to get spanked. He's a very big fan of being spanked in a dog collar. Probably didn't need to mention the dog collar because it's not important to the story, but. Let's see what Rosie Cheeks has in store. He's got it. He's looking good. What is he gonna do? Oh, he's gonna, oh, he's gonna try and go for it, isn't he? Dong, dong grab, dong. Does he have it? Is it good? Is it all dong? 
It appears to be old dog. Oh, who do you think it is? I think it might be. We're gonna have to take a closer look. Go to the, we're gonna have to go to the tapes on that one. But while we're going to the tapes, we've got Edison Greif here. Edison Greif coming up. Polly Murderous is rookie of the year 2018. Looking nervous, but, but confident at the same time. Edison Greif. They call him Lead, Lead Hands Eddie because uh, he's got, uh, his hands are actually twice the size of a normal man's hands, and that's what makes him a champion at this sport. Getting up, got the dong. Ooh, I don't think, I don't know. I don't know if that's all dong. That might, that might be some, uh, some pubis area. I don't know if that's all dong. All right, Frank Varela. Frank Varela comes to us all the way from Vancouver, BC. Often touted as one of the most polite people in the Mount Your Friends circuit, does not always do the dong grab to try and get the most points. You'll hear him, if we can get a mic on him, he, you hear him say sorry as he, as he climbs and competes all the way up every time he he forms a grip sorry all the way will he make it though will his politeness cost him the win he's trying to get a grip 10 seconds eight seconds it's getting down there oh he's got the extension he's got the full head grab nice roll oh, double head grab look at that double head grip looking good barely made it but barely is still made it here at the Mount Your Friends Olympic Finals. Hi, Fernandez. Does not like anybody to use his first name. Just prefers to be called Fernandez or Mr. Fernandez. Because anytime anyone says hi, he always turns his head because he thinks people are talking to him. He's trying to get his, his name legally mm. changed to Cheese Dick. There's got to be a story there somewhere. We don't have the story why he wants to change his name cheese dick we don't do we nope we don't but there you have it ivory uh you're a witch ivory you're a witch coming to us all the way from israel uh and that's all we're gonna say about him just i guess we're just gonna let him climb in silence <laughs> Okay, thank God that's over. All right, now we can start talking again because it's not a touchy subject. It's Terrence Anders. Oh, the coast to coast with a flip twist. Oh my God, Polly Murderous showing how his coaching style is paying off here today at the Mount Your Friends Olympic Arena. That was amazing. I actually have a semi chub and i didn't think that was possible anymore i've been sh i've been uh commentating these events for many many years and i thought my boner days were done but that move right there was so spectacular that i felt a rumbling in my down nether regions terrence anders you are a star got the got the cheat grab there at the end high style points All right, Lima, take it easy. Kareem Correjo, the Kareem of the crop. Correjo doesn't rhyme with anything. It probably does, but I'm just, I just can't think of anything right now. Making his way up, looking, he's one of the smallest competitors in the event today. He actually had his bones hollowed out medically so that he could float more easily in this low grab environment. Nine seconds remain. Will Kareem make it to the top? Oh, he does the cream of the crop rise to the top. I never eat a pig because a pig is a cop. 
1.5 seconds, less than two seconds left on the clock. Made it all the way. Felix Zhang up next. Coming to you all the way from the province or province? I don't know. Hong Kong. One of the most beautiful writers of calligraphy you'll ever see. Took a lot of classes in that regard. Looking like a professional champion. Tip touch, 12 seconds on the clock. It is pathetic how, or it is it is amazing how pathetic he makes his, his competition look. Coast to coast, managed by Zeke's team, Herbert Emil. Actually, no, I'm sorry, that's a typo. His name is actually Herbert Smile. I don't know why they put an E in there instead of the S, but there you have it. Herbert Smile coming to you from Wyoming, the Cowboy State. Trying to get up on the top. He's going to have to go faster than that. Five seconds remain. Can he make it? Will he do it? It's not looking at 24 seconds. Oh, actually. Oh, he is struggling. Trying to get up. Oh, he's going to try. Oh, he tried for the tip touch, but couldn't quite do it. The judge has called three seconds. If you are in the win zone for three seconds, the judges will time you out and you have to remain posed as you are. Kevin Wilker actually uh, is a famous oil painter. He painted uh, not only oils, but also uh, with feces. He painted the Virgin Mary on a half shell covered with shit. I believe that's the actual title of it. Um, <laughs> He uh, also uses some of those techniques, his brush stroke techniques, to do dong grabs for style points here at the Mountain Friends. So let's see if he if he can have a happy little dong grab at the end here. He's getting a little tangled up. But he's like, oh, oh, he's not going for the dong grab. What a surprise. Kevin Wilker not doing the dong grab at the end. Gaining more extension though. He doesn't want the style he wants to win. Coast to coast completed by Jay Justice's Lewis Cops. Lewis Cops actually is the opposite of a cop. He is a 10-time uh, misdemeanor receiver for, amongst other things, jaywalking, shoplifting, and indecent exposure to uh, an elderly person. He's been in jail a total of 37 times but they let him out every once in a while to compete here in the Mountain Your Friends Arena, but he only has four seconds. Can he make it, Lewis Cops? Can he get to the tops with the cops? No! Jay Justice Team eliminated in fourth place. Fourth place, and he is out. Norberto Flens coming up next for Lumi. Norberto actually had to have a third leg removed uh, while he was uh, a youth, he actually grew a third leg right out of his left ass cheek and he had to have it removed uh, because it was interfering with his studies in co or in, uh, in elementary school <clears throat> because his students or the, the fellow students would not stop making fun of him for his third leg. Little did he know he would be doing this later in life and boy, I bet that third leg would have proved pretty useful in this competition. Lumi CMD <laughs> with... The leg extension, difficult maneuver, but nailed it. Oh, young Oz, he blew right past the fucking goat. Does that spell the end for Zeke's team? He's going to have to do some very, very quick climbing to get up to the top. Windmill technique engaged. Can he do it? No, it did. Oh, it's looking bad. It's looking really bad for Zeke's team. Young Oz. Maybe it's because he was named after uh, Zeke's favorite doctor, Dr. Oz. But he's going to need a horse of a different color if he's going to make it here today at the Mount Your Friends Arena. Three seconds. He's going to go into stoppage time really quickly here. 14 seconds. It's looking like it's going to be close. Seven seconds. He got caught up there. Four. Three. Two. No, he's not 
not gonna make it. Oh no, Zeke is eliminated in third place because he doesn't know how to fucking manage spatial fucking awareness. Third place again for Zeke's team. Holy Murderous coming up with Garth Divis. Holy Murderous won last year. Easily, easily won. Hasn't even had to dip into his caution time at all. Looking like an absolute boss, an absolute pro at the sport. A favorite, when is asked who his favorite country singer was, he said Garth Brooks, which we thought he would say, but we kind of didn't think he would say that. Because his name is Garth and you know, that kind of stuff. What's his favorite movie? You guessed it, Wayne's World. Who? Because Garth Algar is Wayne Campbell's best friend. Ronaldo Keitzel tried to start a business failing, failing to start a business uh, early on in his life uh, called Keitzel's Pretzels. It was a pretzel business, but no one knew they were pretzels because it kind of only sort of sounded like pretzel. Ronaldo decided to forego the business and uh, focus mainly on his love, his passion, mounting of his friends. Looking pretty good. Time is running out. Five seconds, gonna go into the caution time. Will, oh, oh no, oh no. 30 seconds still remain. He can still do it, but man, that was the, oh, I have not seen a choke like that since I went last, bought a hooker in Atlanta. It was the last time I saw a choke that hard and that public. Ronaldo is gonna have to make up some time here. Got the dong grab though. Still finishing out with style. Full dong grab at the end there. Still in it, but man, got that disadvantage because the, his caution time has been all but used up. Manky Games and Racing Time, thank you for those re-ups by the way. I'm sorry I missed you, but I've been busy. Shout out is Zane Hannington. Zane Hannington, you gotta hand it to Hannington. He is an innovator of the sport. He actually perfected the three finger nipple grab um, because uh, he only has three fingers. And anybody else who tries it, he calls them, quote, a phony fraud faker. Oh no, Zane has fallen. Rome is crying. Oh no, Polly Murderous. Oh my God, two people, two contestants in a row. Have you ever seen such failure? These losers should be ashamed of themselves for falling off of that, and rightly so, wallows away from the rest of the competition in defeat. Ooh. Terrible. Terrible way to end the game. But the winner of the second annual Mount Your Friends Olympic gold medal, Lumi CMD wins with a height, staggering height of 70 feet, 0.88. I don't know if we'll ever see a competition like that again in our lifetimes, let me tell you. The blood, sweat, dongs, nipples, tears, maybe a little bit of feces, that, that goes into making champions like this is daunting to say the least. Thank you guys for joining us here at Mountain Your Friends Arena. I'm Ezekiel the Third. And keep your dicks up, ladies and gentlemen. Well, keep your dicks up if you have a dick. We'll see you next time. I gotta work on that. I really gotta work on that. <laughs> All right. All right. I hope you liked that. I hope you had fun. <laughs> I, I really enjoyed that, uh, the shoutcasting of it. That was actually more fun than I expected. Uh, that game is uh, Mount Your Friends 3D, a good a hard man is good to find, or good to climb, excuse me. It is $6.99 on Steam. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. All right, uh, let's see what you guys voted on. You know what? I'll give you two minutes. Two minutes until this clock hits 6 o'clock. I'll give you two minutes to vote. And what you guys want to see next? There's the uh, 
Uh, poll right there. Go ahead and go vote. Let me let me actually open it up. The games to choose from are coming out on top: Escape from Pleasure Planet, Gay World, Trans Shaping, Gone Home, Ceres, uh, and Oria, and Drowning Cross. Those are the games you can pick from. Got until six o'clock on the clock to choose those games. A little more than a minute, and I'm gonna save my breath now because my mouth is tired. <laughs> That whole shoutcasting session should go up on YouTube. It was fantastic. Glad you liked it. It's my first time ever trying to shoutcast because I never felt really passionate about a game until then. <laughs> All right, one minute on the clock. I'm getting ready to press that button, see what the results are. That was so good, Zeke. Well, thank you, Polly Murderous. All that improv work showed because that was great. Oh, I'm glad you liked it. I've that extraordinary upset. I'm all tuckered out. All right, Super C-Line, have a good night. All right, let's see what are the results. Gay world. Gay world it is. And I, if I'm not mistaken, I think gay world is, might not last very long. Cause it looks kind of cheap, kind of cheesy. Oh yeah, it totally is. Oh yeah, so this game probably won't last long. Um, so, if so, we'll just we'll just jump to Escape from Pleasure Planet as soon as we get tired of Gay World. It could surprise me. It could surprise me, but I'm gonna purchase it and get it downloaded. So we're gonna take a break. Stick around. I'll be right back. Get Gay World purchased and downloaded. Don't go away.